Hi, what I'm going to do today is show you how to insert a YouTube video inside your Articulate Presenter eLearning course. Now most times when you're using the web object feature in Articulate, you're going to take the website link and then you're just going to use that and that'll bring in that web page. In the case of YouTube, when you do that, you're going to get something that looks like this. So you're using the YouTube website link and what it's doing is really loading the entire web page. So you'll notice you've got your whole YouTube branding up here. You've got the video, but then you've also got these scroll bars and you'll notice that you've got the comments. It's really just the entire page inside of your slide and all you really wanted was the video here. So you want something, instead of what you see here, you want something that looks like this on slide three, which is the entire YouTube video and you want it to fill the slide and um, it's still pulling it from YouTube. You can see there's the branding. Uh, it's still going to have the play bar from YouTube, but you're not getting the entire web page. So I'll show you how we do that. And it's actually pretty simple. So when we go to the YouTube site, you'll notice uh, most times when you're using the web object feature, you're just going to use the URL, which is your website link. And uh, YouTube's going to give you two codes that you can use to embed videos. Um, from YouTube. So one code is the URL, so it's the regular, there's the website link. The other code is this embed code and um, what you would do the embed code is you can embed that on a wiki or a web page or blog or something like that. So what we're going to do is I went ahead and copied both the URL and the embed code so that we can look at them and see the difference. So let's go to this here. So this, all this text right here, this is, this is your embed code and then this text down here this is your URL. Now when we look at the embed code you'll notice it's HTTP and then it goes YouTube.com and then there's a forward slash and it's V for video a forward slash and then you've got all of this right here which is actually your video code. Now when we look at the actual uh, URL link it's a little different so it's YouTube.com slash watch and then it's got the V equals and then the video code. So what we want is, this is your URL, but what we really want to do is use this embed code here, the URL from the embed code, to create that full page uh, video. So all you really have to do is just remember that you've got the V and then the video code. So let's go ahead and copy the URL link. So we'll do control C and we're just going to insert a web object and I'll show you how we do that. Let's go to, oops, I need a new slide. So we've got our new slide. We just go to insert web object. And then here's where I insert my URL. Now this is the normal uh, YouTube URL. So this is the one that I would get from the website. And all I'm going to do here is where it says watch question mark V equals. I'm going to go ahead and just do the YouTube.com forward slash v forward slash and then I'm just going to delete everything except for the actual video code. So it's just v forward slash and then the video code and then I hit OK. You'll notice now I've got my website link and then when I publish the course I'm going to get something that is going to look like this right here where it's embedding the web page completely inside of the slide rather than uh, this where we actually have the web page uh, and all of the other stuff. So if you modify that URL and just do the forward slash V forward slash in the video code, you're going to just fill your slide with the video only.